All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about some EDC gear that I think will change your life, and it's all rather budget oriented, or at least budget friendly. So without any further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. And let's start off first with the knives. I think knives are what we all really love on this channel, and we love seeing them. So the first one I'm going to have here isn't exactly the most budget, but still comes in under $100 usually, so long as it's not crazy inflated. I know Blade HQ has this under 100 bucks, and typically Amazon has this under 100 bucks as well. But this right here is none other than the Ontario Knife Company or OKC um, Rat Model 1. And this one, as a rule, like you can get the OS 8 version for very, very low prices, but this one is the Red G10 handled version. That is, um, it comes in CPM S35VN. So this knife, like I said, as a rule, is a budget knife. This one is the more expensive option. I am including it here just because it still is under $100. And it gives you that CPM S35VN, which is a very good steal. Not too many years ago, like really just a couple years ago, this was the steal that... Um, what was it, uh, Chris Reeve Knives was using on their knives. So it is a really high quality steel, very good performance. Um, obviously it's not the top of the line, but it is still very good. All right, the next option for knives that I'm gonna throw out there, and I think this is a knife that got a lot of publicity when it first came out, but is kind of uh, on the sidelines now, but this is the um, Kershaw Emerson collaboration CQC6, and this one is in D2 tool steel. This one comes in right around, last time I checked on um, Amazon, this one comes in right around $50, so about $50 cheaper than the last option, but still very viable, very good, very carryable. As you guys can see, good action. Um, a, once again, D2 tool steel is not bad, especially for the price considering. And then of course it is still an Emerson. So you have a really good ergonomics. And overall, this is definitely a budget knife, but it's a squared away budget knife. So those are my two budget knife options. Are there cheaper knives out there? Yes, but those are the ones that I have in my collection and honestly ones that I can like genuinely recommend. They have solid track records and they're really good knives. All right, next up, we're gonna go to flashlights. And for flashlights, I have two options. So the first one is this tiny little guy right here. This is the Rovi Vaughn A. Eight, I believe it is. It's like the Aurora A8. And this thing is incredibly bright. It like shoots out 800 lumens, if I remember correctly. The other cool thing about this is if I can remember how to get into it. Yeah, it has this little side flashlight here. So it has this and then it, you, you can cycle through these. It gets brighter. Um, there's also... I should say there's other light modes in here. There's like a blue light and a red light built into the side of it. So it's really cool, um, all the different modes that this little flashlight has. Unfortunately, for as tiny as this little thing is, this thing does come in around 50 bucks. So for me, in my opinion, that's not super expensive, but it definitely is pricey, I would say, for a flashlight of its size. So for a genuine budget offering, because I feel bad just saying like, oh, that's budget, because it is cheaper than like a Phoenix LD30 or something like that, but it's not much cheaper. So my true budget offering is the Streamlight Stylus Pro. Now this thing is truthfully a lot cheaper. It's, it's about 21 bucks, I think, if I remember correctly. And so it is pretty pretty cheap, but also too, it is a lot less functional. So what I do like about the Rovi Vaughn is for its price, it does have a lot of options. Once again, you have multiple colors of light, multiple um, lumen outputs and stuff like that built into one package. Whereas this, you get a set, I want to say it's like 80 lumens. And so it works. It's an effective flashlight and I've had mine for ages. It still works, you know, just fine. Um, definitely looks a little worse for wear. As you get can probably see but you know realistically it works just fine it's pen light and so yeah it is a lot cheaper than the Rovi Vaughn but it also legitimately has one function one feature and it does require two AAA batteries so a little bit unfortunate but it is very inexpensive for flashlights 
All right, next we're gonna step into the last category where I have two options, and these are going to be either A, the Recycled Firefighter Sergeant Wallet, and this is like their slim kind of just standard wallet, and these you cannot unfortunately find on Amazon, so that's a little bit tragic, but these are still sold uh, on Recycled Firefighters um, website, and like I said, they're like 20 bucks, not bad at all, and they hold up great. If that's not quite your fancy and you want something a little bit different, there is also the um, Trayvax. Gosh, I'm trying to remember what this one is called. I'm totally blanking on it right now. But the Summit, there we go. Um, this is the Trayvax Summit. It's pretty cool. It stock does not come with this little piece of metal. So this piece right here you're looking at is about 20 bucks as well. So those are some really good options. I EDC'd both of those um, for a very long time before going over to my um, Open Seas Leather. Uh, wallets, but they're both fantastic options and work just fine. Okay, rounding it out and kind of summing up the last parts of the EDC are going to be the pen. And for the pen, it is without like going to just a generic like Pilot G2, like for budget pens, obviously nothing can beat like just a pack of Pilot G2s. So if you truly really want that, truthful budget option um, there is that but I figured I would show like a reasonably kind of EDC pen that is still very budget so this one is one that also like some of the other items I mentioned on the list I feel it doesn't get that much attention but this is a true just right in the rain click pen and so this is just a nice little like click pen as you guys can see here you know just just a click pen but it does use the um what are they fisher space pen ink refills so you get these cool little guys that you can write with this is an all brass um construction and so yeah this is a pretty pretty good setup the only thing i will say that i dislike about these pens is if you do carry them for a very long time like i carried this one for years you can see that the action the click action is not the most reliable so this one is very well used very old but it still works it's just it doesn't always work every time so do keep that in mind if you do end up going with this guy that it does have a set expiration date or life but overall as far as the actual durability ability of the pen it is a brass body even though it is a blacked out pen like this um, it is a brass body so it is pretty darn tough and still reasonably lightweight and once again it does also have the fisher space pen ink refills so you do get some good writing action out of it Last one up is going to be the titanium pry bar and similar to the pen, you know, if you want something to pry on, going for titanium, there's really no like exact cheap option, but this one is what I do EDC normally and this is just a really functional piece of titanium. It's a pry bar. It's just a generic um, Amazon slash like wish.com slash Alibaba. Like you can find these little guys everywhere. I will include a link um, in the description below to this one in particular on Amazon. I get tons of questions about this one in particular and who makes it, but it's literally just a generic titanium pry bar. So nothing super fancy. It is a real titanium and it does um, work for prying things very, very well. So that is some added advantage to it. And I just overall personally like the kind of thought out design of it. I like the jumping up on the back. I like the uh, bottle opener function and uh, yeah, it's just, I think, pretty minimalist, but pretty well thought out. But that being said, like I said, it is just a generic, no-name brand uh, titanium pry bar. So. so once again, definitely not like super cheap, but also not super expensive either. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this look at some budget-friendly um, EDC gear that will make a difference in your life. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.